Now on Bloomberg Intelligence, Muni's in Focus with Joe Mizak. Darn right, it's Friday. That means we do municipal bonds. The Focus on Municipal Bonds is brought to you by Build America Mutual. BAM insures U.S. municipal bonds that finance essential American infrastructure and provides guaranteed income to improve any portfolio. Portfolio. Be part of Building America. Invest in BAM. 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 Insured bonds. There you go. Uh, I heard... Matt Miller yelling out "Bam" from Westchester, so that, that, that came She's down. She's definitely listening. For He's definitely sure. listening. Joe Mysek, uh, he joins us here in our Bloomberg Interactive Broker Studio. Joe, you probably saw the news that the 2026 World Cup final has been awarded to MetLife Stadium over there in the swamps of Jersey and East Rutherford. Hey, you know what's right next door to that thing? The American Dream Mall. I mean, is that not a selling point that I'm sure they made to uh, the ah. folks in global soccer? Um, very What's nice going segue. on there with the bonds for American Dream Mall? Yeah, very nice segue. Well, really you know, good. it depends what they're backed by. You have uh, one set of the bonds, uh, which has a still has some reserves in its reserve fund. We're trading at 96 cents on the dollar. And uh, another set of bonds uh, where the reserve fund has been exhausted, they're trading about 75 cents on the dollar. So uh, you could pick those up for a little bit of a discount. I mean, do... Are we happy that, the, that this is happening? Sure. The world, okay. Oh, yeah. We're not worried about traffic and, no, we're always, eh, it's and okay. a crowd of people. No, the way you're going to get there, I'm telling everybody, uh. New Jersey Transit, trust me on this one. Yeah, but New Jersey Transit to Secaucus. Secaucus. And, and then you switch to take the five-minute train from Secaucus. To, train? No, they do it for Giants and Jet games, for concerts. Where does the train stop at the stadium? They have a little station built right there. Oh. Can, can't you just like stay at a hotel nearby? No. Yeah, you no, don't dude, do that. This is East Rutherford, New Jersey. We don't like this. No, you, and I am renting you would out swim uh, across my the kids' River. rooms for this. Ah, okay. So, is it yeah. is this the is this the American Dream Mall that has like a ride? Yeah, has the ski slope. Ski slope. Oh, yeah. interesting. Pools, okay. Pools, everything. Yeah. And if they're listening, they need to clean up the graffiti that's on the New Jersey Ooh. Turnpike. No, that gives it the charm, John. That's <laughs> that says no, no, Jersey. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, so. so. Let, let's go to the, the one that these guys love. This is the fun one. Yes. And it's the congestion yes. tolling. $15. Uh, it's supposed to start, what, mid-June is where we're going to well, be looking at? There's a, there's a lot of, of, uh, of Complaints? Uh, moving parts yeah. <laughs> until we get there. So the MTA says, oh, yeah, we could start up June. We'll start levying that $15 uh, toll. And the MTA says it'll bring in a billion dollars a year. And that, in turn can be bonded out to, to create $15 billion. But right now... When you say bonded out, what does that mean? Well, you got the, you have a billion dollars in revenue. Show okay. me a revenue stream, I'll show you a bond issue. Is the, These are like is the, the tobacco bond bonds, man, right? You know, Tobac sell it before yes. you get the money? Well, yeah, no, you get a revenue stream and bond off it. You could borrow that. And, and you, you borrow you and you go. say that that billion dollars of revenue is the collateral for what I'm... Yeah. Okay, I now right. I get you. See, that's yep. bond talk. Yep. All right, yep. I'm with you. All right, so these are we going to? I mean, I guess there's the, the, New Jersey is suing right New York, right, and saying, yes. "Whoa, whoa, whoa, this isn't good for New Jersey." Right, and everything is is kind of in flux, and you still have to get various approvals for it. So I think June is probably I mean, hang on, optimistic. But but wouldn't MTA give a credit to you guys if you're driving Lincoln Holland Tunnel, Queens? Yeah, Midtown if you Tunnel? have to pay a toll to the Port Authority to get into Manhattan to pay the congestion pricing. There's a bit of a discount. I don't know. Uh, it, you know, it, and they're it, still settling it's a full that refund too. or something along those lines. Uh, nobody's giving refunds for yeah, anything. It's just they're going to charge you a little less. And then you also have to take into consideration, as they do with the tolls, every year the toll prices go up. The congestion pricing toll, which is now fifteen dollars every year, that too will go up. That's true. The <laughs> tolls are really yeah. crazy. And also, but this is in theory not supposed to it's not about raising money it's about lessening congestion oh it's about raising money oh, no. <laughs> don't get oh, me started you are <laughs> so <laughs> so, it's about so naive <laughs> i said theory <laughs> theory in, um, well here we go new jersey sued the highway agency and the u.s department of transportation in july over the plan's final approval calling the project a quote brazen money grab that ignored numerous <laughs> complaints from the state's residents over the potential for increased Traffic and pollution. That's why I said theory, but the yes, way. exactly. Yeah. All right, so there is a municipal bond component to that because once that revenue comes in, or once you can quantify that revenue, then you could bond it and they'll hit the market. Oh yeah, and, okay. and you know, right, right now the there are projects that they want to uh, pursue, including 
a, uh, a switch um, and signal uh, upgrade in Brooklyn, not far from my stop. And uh, that's been put on hold until they get the congestion pricing money in. Also, the Second Avenue subway expansion into Harlem. Uh, that's all, you know, kind of on the back burner right now. Okay. All right, got another one here. Texas passed two laws in 2021 that restrict government contracts with companies that take what state officials regard as punitive stances toward the fossil fuels and firearms industry. And that impacted the municipal bond market, didn't it? You know, this has been playing out over the last couple of years, as you say. And uh, Danielle Moran had a very nice quick take on this uh, on this subject, explaining, you know, exactly what's happening there. And the, you know, the impact on the municipal bond market, well, Citigroup exited entirely. Barclays threw in the towel. Uh, and, you know, th these are big players in the market. And UBS, you know, penalized and, you know, they're no longer in munis. Uh, so, you know, what happens when you take away some of the participants? It gets more expensive. And uh, she quoted one, uh, uh, it was a, a study done last year, I think it was, uh, that said uh, it could cost uh, localities about $500 million because there are fewer uh, banks willing to bid on the bonds. And, you know, as, the, as she points out, the, uh, you know, the state says, no, you can't bid on these bonds. You're out. You, you know, you're, you're too what, woke. <laughs> what are the, what is the state of locally issued ESG bonds? Like, I understand some like Texas, Florida probably hate them. Do other yeah, uh, that, probably was, love them? Like where where are we here? You know, it was it was it was pretty robust last year, and I think it's uh, a sort of easing off right now, precisely because of of concerns like this. So yes, there are still verified uh, green bonds and and bonds like that being sold in the municipal market and yet there are some states where they're just you know oh, we're not going to go near these we're not going to sell these yeah. you know usually you're republican dominated states well there's a story recently jamie Dimon was down in texas saying we're all in texas i mean they're putting jobs down there um, oh yeah it's too it's too good of a market too big of a market too good of a market oh to, yeah I last mean, year uh you know this is now this is a funny thing last year state of Texas was the leading state for municipal borrowing. Topped, you know, California, New really? York, okay. which are always in there, I Illinois. I actually believe this. Yeah, is it's it? biggest borrower. And a lot of that is for schools, ah, let alone right. yep. stadiums, but also yep. schools. And uh, what happens? It's one of the fastest growing states. So the people who move in are demanding Sewers, mm -hmm. sidewalks, schools, yeah, and and the uh, since the pandemic, Texas has fallen in love with government. Local government hiring is up three point six percent over the uh, uh, pandemic uh, low. Okay, so we that is, and, you know that which is a lot, you know a lot of states. I know we've reported that overall. Uh, state and local government hiring is is back to where it was, but it, it depends on states. In Texas, it's above that. It's a it's a phenomenal growth story down there, and they're they're selling the the low tax, low yep. regulation um, thing, and uh, it, you know that that's working. And, and it's not just I was going to say energy, but it's not just that. It's not just energy. They have a huge like a medical and hospital area yep. uh, down in Houston, also. MD Anderson, right? Uh, so it, your big it, question here, I think. Is Texas going to go blue? Uh. <laughs> I think that's a misnomer. I can't. I well, feel I don't know. like I don't know. I'll, that I'll was leave a the... moment of maybe they go purple for a little bit, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah, they'll, they'll figure it away. They're, embracing they local government. Exactly. Embracing borrowing. Well, I like. I love talking to native Texans, and they talk about uh, seceding from the union. They're not kidding. They like. They, <laughs> they kind of feel like. You know, we have a lot of a lot of them on on the show. They kind of feel like, ah, we're separate anyway. But we're they Texas. did that. But they did that with their power grid. Hello, yes, with six their power flags. flags. Yeah. They've yeah. had six flags, right? Exactly. It's the Republic of Texas. <laughs> yes, the Republic of Texas. It's good stuff. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. But the, anything on the calendar that we should be looking out for in terms of new issues? Well, you know what? Next week, we see the Commonwealth of Virginia. Oh, nice. Which is a triple A, a triple triple state. 
they're selling a little over $100 million in bonds. Oh, all right. Hardly good. a challenge no. in this market. Right yeah. now, we have the, uh, uh, the people still use the, the expression Goldilocks market. Yeah, you know, we still use it's it. It's not too hot, not, not too, too cold. cold. Okay. It's just right. I looked at the calendar this week, and, uh, you know, very few day to day deals. Uh, you know, you see it's all final pricing yeah. for negotiated deals and Both. awarded on the auction side. Okay. So you look at that and say, you know, there's not so, a lot of day-to-day -day deals. And when you do look at the pricings, yep. they're priced very close to AAA. All right. You know, Good right stuff. on top of it. So, no, wait a minute. Joe, so, that's it. Take us through the break, man. That's we, it, we, we, we have a break that's coming it. up. Good that's stuff. Joe Mysick, covering oh. municipal bonds.